here. Yesterday, NIST released some updated video for us on the technical investigation that they're doing into the Champlain Towers condo collapse. So here they're showing us what's going on inside their warehouse. And they're doing all sorts of testing. Like here you can see they're testing the diameter of the rebar. So they want to make sure that the correct rebar was put into these columns, most likely. There's an RFID tag. You can see they're using the app on their phone to catalog each one of these columns. Here they're just going around and they're doing more and more measurements. Man, I would love to be in this warehouse to get a close-up view of some of these columns and see what's going on. But take a look at this rebar here. You'll notice that, and I pointed this out on day one when I first started to see the first photos from the collapse site, how all of the concrete just seemed to like pull itself right off of the rebar. And in many cases, you know, you'll be hard pressed to find any residue of the concrete, you know, maybe just a little bit, but it just seemed that all of these rebars pulled themselves cleanly out of the concrete. Here's another RFID tag in here. I'll slow it down for you in slow-mo so you can see what the guy's doing here. He just reaches down and makes a little contact near it and catalogs it. They also gave us this video on June 15th. I'm Kamal Saidi and I'm co-leading the Remote Sensing and Data Visualization Project for the NCST investigation into the Champlain Towers South uh, partial collapse. During the uh, search and rescue and afterwards, we have been gathering a lot of information, including LIDAR and pictures and videos and satellite imagery and all sorts of uh, data. And we need a good way, an efficient way to look through all of that data to make it as useful as possible for the rest of the investigation so that they can pull out information that's needed in their analyses. One of the things our team is doing is using uh, handheld um, photogrammetry systems, if you will. Uh, so they're structured light-based systems that we are using to scan the individual pieces of evidence. And then we take that information, we process it, and we create 3D models from that. And then that information can be used um, from the office. You can uh, do some sort of measurements on aggregate sizes. You can do cross sections. You can do length measurements. And so documenting all of this um, so our project is not necessarily making all of these determinations, but we are providing this information so that somebody else, the experts, material experts, the structure engineer, structural engineers can then go in and look at this information and make the measurements that they need to make and the analysis that they need to do to come up with those answers. Now NIST also released this high resolution photograph too. And we had showed you this on our update the other day. However, it was just a small image, like a thumbnail on a PowerPoint presentation. So here with this high resolution image, we could zoom in on it. So it's pretty cool to be able to look right in and, and see kind of close up here. You can see all of the aggregate in the middle of this particular column, for example. So I know a lot of people had pointed to some pictures and thought, hey, I don't see any aggregate, but um, so far we can see it on uh, most of them. And I would love to be able to get in there and see this, but yeah. And then you could look around the wall, you see these letters here. I don't know if these mean the columns, like 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 this is from column M around the garage, or if they're arranged somewhere else. I mean, here's K over here, looks like. So I wonder if my favorite column M11.1 is over here someplace, if this is indeed the case on how they labeled it. But they have two of these bays here, and every one of these columns has been fully photographed and scanned in. And as they showed you on the video here a few seconds ago, you can see they have um, everything all digitized on the computer and they can spin it around and look at it from all different angles here in 3D. So I wish they'd given us more. This was the only high resolution photograph they provided for us. I think based on all the photos that NIST has released to us so far, this one was probably the highest resolution one. Well, I hope you found this quick update useful. And uh, thanks for joining us today, folks, and we'll see you on the next one. We have many more coming.